nice little Pilates routine together, so something you can simply follow for a short workout at home um, whilst you're stuck at home, either in the garden or inside the house, not being able to do a lot. So what we want you to do first of all is sit up nice and tall for me. We'll start with our spine twist, length through the spine. We're going to keep our chin in the middle of our body, arms across the body, and we're going to pretend we're in a lighthouse, and we're going to scan the horizon. So as you breathe out, you're going to come out to the side, breathe into the middle, out to the other side, Breathe into the middle. That's our spine twist. We're now going to go our spine stretch. And this is a really good one at lengthening through the backs of the thighs. So what we're going to do is imagine you've got like a ball or a bag on your lap and we're going to curve over this. So we're going to put our arms out straight and we're going to curve the upper spine over and back up. We don't pivot here at the hips. It's this part of the spine we're opening up. So we're curving over and up. Make sure you keep focusing on breathing in and breathing out. Superb. We're now going to do an exercise called the roll up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to imagine we've got a beach ball and we're going to make a nice C shape of your spine. We're going to curl down, extend the arms over the head and gently curl yourself back up. So, and again, curl down as you breathe out. Breathe in. So, breathe out. Breathe in. And obviously, the slower you go, the more tension you'll feel over the body. And this time, I'm going to curl down, I'm going to stay flat on the floor, and I'm going to go onto my side. I'm going to go palm up, so my ear rests on my bicep, my shoulders are stacked, my hips are stacked like two bolts on top, I'm going to lengthen through my body. Top hand goes on the floor and as I breathe out, I'm going to bring both feet up, I'm going to focus on breathing in and out. onto our stomach and we'll do an exercise called the swan dive so for this one we're going to strengthen our lower back and we're going to keep looking at the floor we're not going to bring your head up i want it to look like you're looking at your reflection in a mirror we're going to make a capital e shape with our hands and our hands will always be higher than our elbows so as you breathe out and breathe in breathe out breathe in So the next one we're going to look at is what's known as our double leg kick. So you're going to place your hands on your lower back. Again, keep looking at the mat. And this is a bit like a seesaw style movement. So we're going to slowly move the heels up through treacle. As we breathe out. As I breathe in, I lift the head and shoulders up. Breathe out. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in.
And then I'm going to do the other side for the side kick. Again, hand up towards the ceiling, rest an ear on bicep, shoulders stacked, hips stacked, breathe out, keep focusing breathing in and breathing out. And lower the feet down, and we're going to go onto our back. And we're going to do an exercise called the 100. So you're going to sort yourself out and set yourself down, lying flat on your back, feet bent. So knees bent, feet flat on the floor, head towards the ceiling. And we're going to float one leg to what's called the tabletop. This is a roughly a 90 degree angle between shin and thigh. That feels reasonably comfortable, focusing on breathing in and out. We're going to tilt the pelvis slightly so it comes slightly towards me to lengthen through the lumbar spine slightly and bring the second foot. This means you don't have to put your hands under your back. It does actually protect your back. That small tilt of the pelvis, okay? So you bring the top of the, the front of the pelvis towards the ribs slightly, just slightly, as if squeezing a little bit of juice out of a grape under the back. And keep focus on holding that position for 10 breaths in and 10 breaths out. one leg down to the floor, followed by the other. We're now into an exercise called the shoulder bridge, which will work down through the back of the thighs, the glutes, the lower back region. So set your feet level, and what we want to do is keep the hips level, flat, they're not going to twist from side to side, we're not going to see the hips moving side to side. So what we want to do is we gently curl up, lifting one vertebrae at a time as we come up, then extend the hands over the head, keep the hips up nice and high in that ski ramp position, Gently bring the arms back down towards the floor and then slowly curl down for one vertebrae back floor one at a time. And again, peel up. Bring the arms up and over. Two more. And last one. And then we'll go into the final exercise we look at. And it's a nice little routine for you to follow. And we're going to what's known as the double leg stretch. Now initially at level it doesn't look like much, but what we're going to do is place both arms up and what we're going to do is make a circle motion with your hands. Focus on keeping your pelvis nice and steady, no movement through. You can do four circles clockwise, four anti-clockwise, and half the circles of breath in, half the circles of breath out. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy your little workout. Thank you.